Okay YouTube, this is going to be a different video. There will be bad language, I'm just warning you now. In this video, I am ranting about hackers. Yeah, hackers, because to be honest, I hate them. They take hard work in legitimate people like me and just throw all their hard work away. You have people who breed legitimately, who breed to get eat to get egg moves and uh, IVs and to breed to get shiny Pokemon and there are these hackers who are just typing codes in in their power saves and just getting them in the in the games and even Pokemon with incorrect abilities if you want to battle with Pokemon that don't have abilities that they should do then just go on Pokemon Showdown for fuck's sake and just go in your balanced hackmons uh, balanced hackmons Oh my god, it's just, it's just so fucking annoying. You have to deal with these people who hack. And, yeah, you just get these people with full teams of shinies. And you just get this thing like, well, they've either spent about a year or two years or something breeding them, or they've just hacked them in. I mean, it's not that hard. To just breed something. I mean, like I've bred a Pokemon in one a perfect Pokemon in one batch of eggs. It's not that hard, especially if you have a six IV Ditto. But yeah, it's not that hard. Look, the look story from my previous videos. That was bred in one batch of eggs. One batch of eggs. Same. Uh, the Frostlass was uh, two batches. And then you've got the Flabebe, which I think was four batches? But still, it doesn't take very long. I've managed to breed a perfect Pokemon in less than one box. That's less than 30 eggs for one Pokemon, which takes less than a day. It takes like an hour, two hours maybe? It's just two hours of your life. So what? What else would you be doing in those two hours? I mean... If you have other things to do, then you can understand, but then you can just get someone else who maybe doesn't have very much, who maybe doesn't have very much to do and has loads of time on their hands to just breed them for you. Like things like Miiverse exist so that people can do this, essentially. So you can help people and breed people, and then you've got uh, Sir Ruby. And um, I think there's a trading forum on a trading chat room on Showdown. But there are loads and loads and loads of sites where you can get people to help you. And Poker Community, that is built, essentially built, for you to get Pokemon like this. For you to get Pokemon to breed. So there is no reason that you should hack. No reason whatsoever. And it's just... So, 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 so frustrating. So you've got all these legitimate Pokemon in your team. You go into competitive battle and then you just know that Pokemon is hacked. Or you get, get a Pokemon over Wonder Trade that's hacked. And it's just... Uh, whenever I get a Pokemon over Wonder Trade that's hacked, obviously I'll check if it's hacked by going over to the um, memory person check its memories but still and then i'll just want to trade it straight off because i do not want hacked pokemon no matter what if you want a shiny breed for it chain for it ask someone for it do not fucking hack for it oh well that's helped i'll see you later youtube